Jose, Mahoney County Board of Developmental Disabilities, and I'm here at Crumbles Bakery on Market Street in Boardman. Let's go in and talk to people. Hi, I'm here with Miss Betty at the Crumbles Bakery. Um, can you tell us how Crumbles got started? Good morning. Yes, I can. Um, about three years ago, I presented Kathy and Mary Kay with this concept of involving uh, young special needs adults um, into a business setting for the community in order for them to feel important about something that they can do. So here we are three years later. Oh, and um, been open that long. We have been open three years and um, we're, we're very successful. I'd like to think that we're very <laughs> successful. <laughs> well, how many individuals work here? At the present, we have 10 individuals working here, okay. and we have five adults who work with them. Okay. okay. Um, how do they get hired? They complete an application just like they would for any other job in the community, so they're learning how, how the process works from the very beginning to the very end. Mm -hmm. So there's a training center on Youngstown Poland Road. Okay. They train there, fill out an application, and if they fit, then they're hired. And do they get certified or any kind of training? Yes, they do. The training center, once again, is on Youngstown Poland Road, where they work with a mentor there. And then we do an online training that is required by all of them to, in order to work here. Okay. Um, did some of them go to MCCTC? I think some yes, of them some of them that. did, yes. Nice. I'm sure they did tell you about that. They're they quite did. proud of that. They should be. They should be, is right. Um, are they assigned to work in certain areas, or how do you find... What we try to do is find their area of expertise. Some like to bake, some like to package, so we try to kind of go in and see where they're best fitted for, and then okay. that's where we put them in the bakery. Okay. Um, do people from the community come in? We are open Tuesday through Friday from 8 to 4. Monday is our big baking day, okay. so we're closed on Mondays. But yes, they do. You can come in into town and have lunch. We've now started serving soups, and in the summer we're going to serve some salads. Um, so we have an outdoor area where you can sit and have something to eat. You can also call in, special order things. Okay. Um, do you make anything for specific organizations? We are very active with Animal Charity. We did their fur ball. We are currently working on a cookie right now for Oh Wow. They come oh, in nice. and they are very supportive of our program as uh, we are of theirs. So we're working on a cookie for them right now. Great. Um, we did Taste of Struthers. We did ARC. Um, we're out there. We're out there trying to, 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 to get this idea and this concept out to the community. Great. Well, thanks for meeting with us today. I'm here with Stephanie in the Crumbles Kitchen. Stephanie, what are you working on? I am doing the um, stuff for the soup. I'm putting the baking bits in these little containers. And then we're going to put this in the soup for the kids. And for everybody that buys the soup, but it's really good. I may have to take one of those little bacon bits and test it out. <laughs> Where else do you work in this in the building? Um, I help out the kids a little. Um, I do a little bit with about everybody. I do some dishes. You do a little bit of everything? Yes. Do you work out front? No. No? I work for that. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. How long have you worked here? About a year. Have you worked anywhere else before here? Um, yes, I used to work for Holiday Inn. Oh, wow. Oh. And then I worked for a catering company for about a year, Georgetown. Okay, so that's how you got involved in working with food? Um, it goes back further than that. I worked for the MCCTC, the Honey County Corner Technical Center, for um, College of York. Oh, wow. Wow. And now you're here. Yes. I love it. Well, everything looks great, and I can't Thank wait to you. try some. I'm here with Nick in the Crumbles Kitchen. Uh, Nick, what are you doing right now? Making chocolate pop Do you only work in the kitchen, or do you work anywhere else around here? Um, I sometimes help Stephanie wash dishes. Okay. I sometimes clean a lot. Okay. And I sometimes do ice what do you do out front? Do you? So you wait on people who come in? Stop in for more information at 4150 Market Street. Thank, Thank you for coming to Crumbles!
I'm here with Joe at RayArc. Joe is their file clerk. Do you want to tell me what you do all day while you're here? Well, I file with them. Okay. The client files, the um, the copies for the houses. Um, Do you work every day? Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and then. Wednesday and Friday, I'm up across the parking lot. Okay. How long have you worked here? I started here in 99. Wow, you've been here 17 years? Yep. Wow. I saw that you went to high school. Three, three different buildings. Okay. Three or four different buildings we were in. And you've done a lot. Yep. You've been here a long time. What makes you stay here? Oh, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. This is your dream job? Yeah, my, um, my relative, my aunt, was a secretary for a, for a lawyer. Okay. So I said, if she can do it, I can probably do it. Absolutely. And I've, it's all, it's all, uh, you know, it's all from her because she, she's the one who got me in, you know, involved, mm -hmm. you know, got me interested in something like this. Well, you're obviously doing pretty good if you've been here that long, so they must like you here too. I never real, I didn't realize it was 17 years. <laughs> Do you interact with a lot of other staff members a lot? I've got a lot of friends across the um, parking lot. Okay. Well, I see that you have a lot of pictures up around here. Can you tell me about some of them? Oh, uh, these. This picture was given to me by my cousin. You're this in the NASCAR. One, yeah, this one was from my um, one of my co-workers gave gave that to me. My cousin gave me this one here at Dale. And my co-workers gave me these two. And who have we got in this picture? Um, this one here. Who have we got? Wait, which one? This one. Oh, this one? Mm -hmm. It's my fiance. You're engaged? Yes, I am. Well, congratulations. Thank you. How long have you been, what's her name? Her name is Kathy. Kathy, how long have you and Kathy been together? I met her in 2010. Okay. I moved in with her in 2014. And Good for you, congratulations. Um, what kind of stuff do you guys like to do together? I hear you like to travel. Yeah, I like to travel. And we like to watch TV together. What's your favorite show? Wheel of Fortune. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Wheel of Fortune and um, Jeopardy. Awesome. <laughs> I'm here at Rayark with Christina. She's a billing clerk. And Christina, I was wondering how does Joe make your day easier at the office? Joe makes my day easier because he always comes first thing in the morning is hi, hello, how are you? And then sometimes he'll come in and he'll say, hey Christina, can you help me with this? And then we work together to see what we can accomplish together. If he needs anything, I go to him. If he, if I need anything, he'll come, to, you know the way. <laughs> so, Joe always has a smile on his face. He's very positive when he comes to work. If he has a story to tell us or anything, we're always here to help and he's always there for us. We at Rayark would like to take this time to show our appreciation to Joe Cherifosta, who has been an employee here for 17 years and has had de dedicated service and I don't know what we would do without him on most days. I'm here at Purple Cat in Youngstown, Ohio, where Rachel works at goldenstringradio.org. Let's go listen in. Hi, I'm here with Rachel at Purple Cat. Uh, Rachel, so what made you decide to come here? Um, because I graduated high school and I um, 
needed like some a job and I needed, like, needed a place to work and so Jimmy Seven was the one who inspired me to come here to work okay. and his wife Jill was an SSA at the time at the county and so she met my mom and talked to my mother and I graduated high school when I was 18 so it was like Jill talked to my mother and there was gonna I would have had to been on a waiting list for 10 years for the workshop so when Jill talked to my mom there was going to be an opening. So in 2004, she t and, like, talked to my mom about it, and then I started in 2006, and so I've been here ever since. Oh, that's 10 years. Yeah. And how long have you been working on the radio? Um, it was off and on. It, like, varies because um, I had to cancel for a while because of other clients wanted to try it out. Okay. So, But then I came back on, and I talk about, like, different celebrities' birthdays, and then go on entertainmenttonight.com and just talk about, like, different celebrity birthday, like, celebrity, like, um, stories and stuff, like about like women, like who did like just different things okay. and stuff. So, do you have the uh, name of your your radio show? Talk Soup with Rachel Levoff. Okay. I don't talk about canned soup if that's what people ask me all the time. So they ask me, they're like, "Are you talk? Do you talk about like different kinds of soup?" I'm like, "No, that's just the name of my show." <laughs> do people call in and request songs? Yes. Or, um, okay. During my show, I have like my promo. Uh, do you do any other work here at Purple Cat? Yes, I work with Sally Lucas downstairs filing papers for clients and putting them in alphabetical order. I um, work with Helena like from 9 to, t to 11 every day and then from after lunch from 12 to like 2.20 I work till with Sally usually or if I have a break I just do book club. I started doing book club a while ago like but I love book club because I like to read. Did, is this something you started yourself? Yes, I started a book club myself and where I read to clients and other clients like I read a book of, of The Adventures of Pinocchio once. Ah. <laughs> so I read I, we finished that book and then I started reading The Adventures of Sleepy Hollow. Um, and I heard you used to work at the candy store yes, also. Can I, you tell I, us a little about that? Okay. The candy store is Touch the Moon Candy Saloon where they have a variety of like um they have like Laffy Taffy and like root beer floats and like hot dogs and stuff. So I used to be a cashier. Okay. And that's where I learned how to make money and like okay. learn how to like distribute money and stuff. And I was there for a while and so I used to like help start like count out the like the tutti frutti candies oh, and put okay. them in baggies and like put wait on customers. Yeah, and in. like help them like cash them out and like give them right change and so I learned a lot about money and yeah. stuff. So it's a new experience, experience for me yeah. and so someday out there in the community um since i'm working here like as a secretary helping helena like i make phone calls for her like for her trainings like i call people and tell them about her trainings like for them okay. to call in and like give her a specific date if she needs like them to come in for her orientation or cpr or, so i've been like i had to do a call I had to call a lot of people that one went a lot so you're a big helper out here I am <laughs> no wonder they keep you <laughs> uh, what are your dreams for the future um being a secretary out in the community in the office like uh, filing, doctor's office or, or any no like just maybe like somewhere like filing papers typing up paperwork and okay. like I learned how to practice my typing for 25 words per minute. Wow. So I want to like be out there in the community. Yeah. I wanted to like go to college to be a librarian, but that never worked out for me after high school. Okay. So um, we tried looking online for part-time work or calling in. They won't do it because of other students who okay. need that job. So okay. like, or because I would be taking other people's spots and they wouldn't have me do that. So. Okay. And you like to travel? Are I you, love like to travel. Okay. I, um, went to Florida to see my Aunt Gina in November one year. Did you fly or did uh, you fly we, fl we flew. I flew by myself to Ooh. Missouri to see my brother when he was married to my sister-in-law when she was pregnant with my niece. Okay. For, and um, I've been to Minnesota, Mall of America with my home manager. I went to Florida, Walt Disney World before. Okay. Um, Virginia with my mother. My mom moved down there after gradu after I graduated high school when I moved on my own when I was 21. Wow. So. Impressive. Of, yeah, I live in a group home. Okay. Like the, um, off of Jenny Lynn with my roommate Alice. Okay. And so, and then I come here every day and I, 
I'm an, I'm, a, I'm a happy and I'm a loving caring Good for you. So. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Well, they seem to love you here and you seem to love it here, so. Yeah, and you know what? I said to Helena, like whenever I go on vacation as a joke, I'm like, hey, you're doing all my work while I'm gone. And she's like, no way, Jose, it'll be here when you get home. <laughs> So. All right. Well, if you want to listen to Rachel on the radio, that's what Fridays. It's Fridays from twelve to twelve thirty on GoldenStringRadio.org. There you go. Thank you, Rachel. I'm here with Helena at Purple Cat. She shares an office with Rachel. Mm -hmm. uh, Helena, Rachel seems like a really big help around here. Oh yeah, sure. Rachel and I have been working together in this office for uh, close to five years now. Um, she started off just doing things like faxing and filing, copying, and then as she, she worked here more and I saw her abilities, I had her start doing things like research, writing trainings. So yeah, she's definitely a very, very big help to me. Good. Um, you guys go on a lot of community outings here too at Purple Cat? Right. Uh, Purple Cat offers a lot of community experience. Um, so they're going to the YMCA uh, for exercising, going to the flea markets, different activities like that. And we're primarily office, so I don't get to do the fun stuff, <laughs> like the field trips. But yes, we definitely offer a variety of things through the Purple Cap. And Rachel does uh, like filings and stuff here. She does the radio station and the right. office job. Right. Rachel primarily works here in the office with me as my office assistant, uh, up to 10 hours a week. Um, like I said, she does my faxing, filing, copying, pretty much whatever I need her to do, Rachel can do that. And then she has the opportunity to take different classes, uh, like the adult basic learning classes. Okay. Um, she has an opportunity to do the radio station, her radio show once a week on Fridays. And she also teaches her own class, uh, her book club, <laughs> one time a week where she reads to the individuals. And uh, you guys were just talking about self-advocacy mm -hmm. that she put together. Can you mm -hmm. tell us about that? Right. A couple years ago, Rachel uh, approached me. She said, you know, I'm always helping you set up trainings. I want to do a training myself. And I'm like, that's awesome. What would you like to do? And she said that she just wanted to talk to people to let them know that people with disabilities are able to do different things. So I said, great, you know, put it together, I'll help you with it. Uh, she did a 15 minute PowerPoint presentation for our site supervisors during, during a site supervisor meeting. Well, she seems so. very ambitious. Yes. And you guys are lucky <laughs> to have her. Yes, definitely, for sure. <laughs>